Hey guys, today we're going to be unboxing this Tinker Board. It's an this is an Asus Tinker Board, and um, I, I just bought this on Amazon. And um, this is the the older um, lower end um, version of the Tinker Board. There are a few others out there, um, but I, I just wanted to try this out. I just wanted to try um, you know this this uh, board that um, I this only the existence of this only recently came to my attention. But it's from Asus, and I mean it's similar to a Raspberry Pi, and um, if, if you look at that, that looks very similar to a Raspberry Pi, and that that's really what I'm used to working with Raspberry Pis. But I had, and I know there are a lot of competitors out there, and I was I was looking through them, and I I happened upon this, and it looked pretty neat, and so I, I just wanted to test out, you know, um, it the uh, Asus answer to the Raspberry Pi. So this is like if if Asus built a Raspberry Pi. Now. Um, we're gonna so i'm just gonna do an unboxing of this i'm not gonna set it up or power it on in this video but you can definitely expect to see that in future videos so stay tuned you know hit the subscribe button click the little bell icon all that but um so yeah d definitely you're gonna want to stay tuned for future videos where we show you um you know all the things we can do with this but um today we're just you know today we're just unboxing it and taking a quick look but um yeah we're gonna actually you know install an os power it up do all the normal things like you would do with a pi make it you know blink a lead control servo motors all the things i want that we do with a raspberry pi we're gonna try to do with this thing too so um here it is um and let's just move this away and take a nice look at that hopefully that um, comes out well on the video um let me see if I can move it closer to the camera and still get it, you know, in the light. There we go, without the light shining on it too much. Here's a nice, oh, that, there we go, that, that comes out okay. It's getting a little dark, yeah, there we go. There's a good shot of it. So yeah, you'll notice it has these uh, GPIO pins and, um, <clears throat> you know, here's obviously the CPU and uh, this looks like it would be a wireless, uh, this, this, this looks like it controls Wi-Fi, I'm, I'm guessing, because it's connected to this little, uh, this little antenna thing here and um if this is similar these these two connections are in the same place as on, on the raspberry pi so i'm going to assume this is for a camera and this is for a display to be connected to and it comes with a you know it comes with a like a head a regular headphone jack and an hdmi port and it is powered by this slightly older um usb port i forget if that's mini or micro but it's not USB C. so i would compare this Based on that, based on these ports, this is similar to like a Raspberry Pi 3. I believe the 3 has a regular um, HDMI port, whereas this one has like a, um, and it has this, I, I believe. I think it's um, the Raspberry Pi 4 where they start using USB-C. So this one is a little bit behind the 4, but I bet if you bought the newer version of this, it probably does have USB-C. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at that yet. But in any case, you, know, you get four USB ports. I am not sure offhand if those are all USB 2 or if one of that or if two of those are USB 3 so I'm not I'm really not sure of that um the processor is a rock chip which I'm like I'm completely unfamiliar with this I just know it's a competitor for the Raspberry Pi and so I wanted to investigate and you know test it out and, and kind of learn about it so I'm going to have a whole bunch more information about it all these specifics about the system I'm, I'm going to Pretty much make sure to have that posted on my site so if you check the link in the description um, you're gonna find my write-up on this with all the details about it and, and you're also gonna find probably this video embedded in the on that page and you're also gonna find my other videos you know giving a more giving more in-depth information about that on my page so definitely you know click the link in the description you know read up on this a little bit more on my site after I've done some more investigation and stuff but um, you know initially I'm just gonna embed this video on that page and put a quick little write-up but then as I you know post more videos and do more research with this and you know get more familiar with it I'm gonna embed those videos on that same page and I'm going to update it with more information as I go. Um, and I'm kind of doing this in parallel with, um, you know, my work on the Raspberry Pi, the Arduino, and um, I actually also just bought an Odroid. So my next video I'm going to record, I'm not sure which order I'm going to post these in, but um, my next video I'm going to I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the of the Odroid because both of those came in the mail today on the same day. So th this guy just came in the mail today. The Odroid um, just came in the mail too. Both Raspberry Pi competitors or, you know, alternatives to the Raspberry Pi. So I'm really excited to test these out. And who knows, if, um, 
this may not be the the last um this is the first but it may not be the last asus single board computer um i may buy um you know some of the newer more updated um single board computers that are um like this i don't think is is, is quite a competitor for the Raspberry Pi 4, more like the Raspberry Pi 3 off the top of my head. But I, I really have to look up the specs for this and everything. But um, what I would say is they're, they're newer boards. They, they, they have um, the, you know, the newer higher end boards than this. And those I would assume are more of a competitor for the Raspberry Pi 4. So um, what else could we say about this? Um, you know, you'd put your SD card in here um, you know, things are like the colors a little different, you know, obviously the, you know, the chipset's going to be different. Um, so this is an Asus Tinkerboard Revision 1.2. Um, let's see if we can, what else we can tell just by looking at this without, um, let's see any, anyways, um, you know, I, I have a hard time believing this is the Wi-Fi chip because, um, I mean, maybe, maybe it's just an IO controller. Um, and I, I see like a few real tech chips on here or a couple of them anyways. Um, any case, enough of that. Um, yeah, it comes with ethernet, which, um, I, I really have to look at the specs on this before I do an actual review or anything. So really this is just, um, you know, this is my first impression without having almost any knowledge of this at all. So like I didn't research it ahead of time. I just said, you know what, this looks really neat. I'm going to buy it. Then I'm going to test it out and I'm going to research it, go through the specs, everything else. But um, I'm coming into this with um, very little knowledge. Um, you can see the, the pins are color coded, which is pretty nice. I believe this is supposed to be, um, I believe this is supposed to um, be Raspberry Pi compatible. So these pins should be the exact same, uh, um, you know, they, they should match up with what's on the Raspberry Pi. And I believe, um, like I remember these, I, th I believe red on here is um, five volt and in, in this little orangish yellowish pin would be 3.3 volt. I believe that's how they're laid out on the Raspberry Pi if my if memory serves me. And I believe that, that I mean, that would make sense since they, since they kind of match up. So anyways, um, that's, that's my first impression of that. Um, let's see what else they put in the box. I see there are some other things in here. Yeah, just some cardboard, you know, anti-static wrap. It does come with this manual, which, all right, there we go. It has some nice details on this. And um, it also comes with a heat sink, which I think I'm definitely gonna wanna uh, put on here. And I think that's gonna be a, another video, um, putting the heat sink on there. I'm gonna record a quick video of that. But that's nice that it comes with a heat sink. That looks like a processor that probably could really use a heat sink. Um, so let's take a quick look at this manual. Um, yeah, so totally different GPU from, from the Pi. Um, yeah, a couple gigs of memory. Um, what, what else? Uh, lo looks like that's supposed to be gigabit LAN, GB LAN, and uh, wireless built in, which is nice. You know, 3.5 millimeter audio jack. All right, so we, we got the camera interface. Let, let's look at the the diagram over here actually the os support supports debian okay um so i have to look at you know i have to look into installing that um and i guess you would go to the you know the tinkerboard website and download an os for it but um what else here so we have our quad core processor and just as i suspected all right so this is your camera interface and uh, this is gonna be your display interface. So that's, and, and it's, it's micro USB for, for power. That, that's where your power comes in. So that's, and yeah, gigabit LAN. Um, all the USB ports are USB 2.0. So um, at least, I believe at least two of them on the Raspberry Pi 4 are, are USB 3.0, which again, this is not, I don't think this is a direct competitor to the Pi 4. The newer models of this are gonna be a direct competitor to the Pi 4, I believe. Um, so yeah, just as I had suspected, like th this matches up with the Pi. So the, on the Pi, this is a display, you know, a MIPI DSI, D for display. And this is a MIPI uh, CSI, C for camera. Um, so uh, camera here, uh, display here. You can use like a ribbon cam, a, a ribbon cable to connect them there. And, um, you know, as far as the pins, um, look, look at that, the red, the red, just like I was guessing, the red, the red pins are um, five volts and um, the yellow pins are three volts or th I 
that should be 3.3. I think it's just, yeah, yeah, it, it does say 3.3. All right, yeah, yeah, so 3.3 volts. Um, and that's, yeah, so that's all I'm gonna go through on this. So that's, that's nice to have. I think I'm gonna hold on to the manual. I'm actually gonna hold on to the whole box for the time being. I'm not gonna, you know, no, no rush to throw the box out, not yet anyways. But, um, yeah. So I am going to get that thing set up a little later. For now, I'm just gonna pack this up and uh, move on to the next unboxing because I have an Odroid to unbox. Not on this video, I'm gonna make a separate video for that. Um, you know, if you, if you wanna see more than this, definitely subscribe, hit the little bell icon. Um, you know, if you found this interesting, you know, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, maybe it's boring. You know, thumbs down is fine too. Um, you know, any comments, uh, criticism, uh, questions, anything you want to say, leave a comment down below. I want to know what you think. So um, definitely let me know. And um, as always, hopefully you enjoyed watching. And we, we will, uh, you know, thanks for watching. We'll, we'll see you next time.